friends welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be discussing about the basic model of inventory management that is economic order quantity model now in this economic order quantity model what is it like that we the organizations they implement this model to determine what optimum amount of inventory should be ordered from the vendors keeping in mind that either of the costs see there are two costs in the inventory if i say basic costs which are involved in the inventory first one is carrying cost which is also known as or, uh, holding cost fine now holding cost or carrying cost is like when you have ordered the inventory and the inventory is received in your organization that inventory has to be stored somewhere because immediately all the inventory is not going to get consumed that it is going to be consumed gradually so for that particular time period you need to store the inventory in the warehouse fine and that is the holding you are holding the inventory in the warehouse and the cost of holding the inventory will be holding cost because every item requires different conditions for the safe storage in the warehouse so that is holding cost and second cost is the ordering cost ordering cost is like when you are placing an order to the supplier and the supplier is delivering you the material whatever cost will be incurred making a call making transportation arrangements anything like that that is all going to come under the ordering cost so the companies they have to decide the optimum quantity keeping in mind that the total cost which is the sum of both ordering cost and holding cost is minimum all right so now let's see these are the three basic uh, uh, like formulas which are involved this formula is for annual uh, this formula is for annual ordering cost right that is ordering cost how much you will be placing an order the cost of that capital d is the annual demand a total number of units that you require in a year s is your ordering cost per order and q is the optimum quantity and then we have annual carrying cost annual carrying cost is q by 2 into h q is your eoq then uh, h is your holding cost per unit what is the holding cost of a, a single unit and that according to that you will be calculating the total carrying cost and the total cost will be the sum of annual co carrying cost plus ordering cost all right now what is this graph saying this graph is saying that carrying cost is linearly related to the order size that is if your q will be high your holding cost will be high that is if you are ordering more units then more units you have to hold in the inventory so q increases h increases and q and uh, this your uh, ordering cost they have a inverse relationship more units you order in once so less number of orders you have to place in a year so number of orders are going to decrease that is going to decrease the ordering cost also and this red line is the total cost and this is the point where the total cost is minimum and uh, and that quantity is the eoq quantity optimum quantity and always remember that at optimum quantity the cost of uh, ordering cost and the holding cost they are always going to be equal at q that is eoq all right please remember this thing then next is how to find out q q is under root of 2 ds by h right these terminologies i have already told you in the previous slide d is your annual demand s is your ordering cost h is your holding cost and there is another time another formula that is length of the order cycle length of the order cycle it is like how much time uh, how much time is gone between two orders like today you have ordered you received the order next order is going to be placed when so that time period is known as length of an order cycle now this generally you will multiply by number of days in year which will be most of the time specified in the question otherwise you can take it as 360 or 365 also but it will be mentioned if they will be asking you length of an order cycle the number of days in a year will be mentioned so let's see the problem now there is a local distributor for a national tire company which is expecting to sell 9600 steel belted radial tires of certain size and tread design next year so from this first design uh, first line it is clear that this 9600 is the annual demand that is it is your capital d and annual carrying cost is 16 dollar that is h carrying cost i told you carrying cost is also same as holding cost right my students generally ask me ma'am 
that we are finding difficult to identify the values of the variables so that is for them so holding cost is $16 per tire and ordering cost they have given you S that is $75 and they have also given you that distributor is working for how many days in a year uh, 288 days in a year so next is we have to first of all determine what is the EOQ now EOQ it is like formula for EOQ that I have already told you under root of 2 D S by H so D is your this H is given to you S is given to you so when you will be putting these values in the formula you will be getting it 300 tires and generally if in some questions you get like 292.69 if the Q is coming out to be like this and we all know that quantity that cannot be in decimals. So we are going to round it off to let's suppose 293 just like this. Fine. So you have to always round it off the quantity if it comes in the decimals. Fine. Next part is how many times per year does the store reorder? That is they are asking you number of orders. How many times in a year the customer, the company is placing an order to the uh, supplier and the formula for that is D by Q. D is given to you 9600 and Q we have identified from the previous slide. Q we have identified from the previous slide. So that is 300. So you have total number of 32 orders in a year. Then what is the length of an order cycle? That is Q by T. Q by D. Q is 300. D is 9600 and I told you that you will be multiplying it by number of days in a year which is given to you as 288 days so 1 by 32 of a year into 288 or you can say 9 working days is the length of the order cycle last one is if you have to calculate the total cost if the EOQ quantity is ordered total cost I, sh I have shown you the formula this is the formula and I now you know all the values Q is your 300 H is your 16 D is 9600 Q is uh, 300 again s is your 75 so when you will be calculating total cost it will be 4800 now you notice this you were calculating total cost at q that is at 300 right so you notice this thing that at eoq the cost carrying cost and the ordering cost they both are equal right and total cost is coming out to be 4800 fine so this was your basic model of EOQ in which I have shown you how to calculate the optimum quantity and most importantly how to identify the values in the in the statement what variable values are there in the statement fine and uh, this was all about EOQ model if you people like my video then please do subscribe to my channel and share the video and uh, I would love to read your reviews in the comment section thank you